This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Wright versus Wingo. You all have known each other for two years. You met in a nightclub. And we know that you're Miss Wright, but you need the results of today's proceeding to determine if he's Mr. Wright. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. All right, Miss Wright, tell us why you've initiated this case today. The reason why I'm here today is because I believe my boyfriend is cheating on me with my mother. <laughs> the reason why I believe that he's cheating on me with my mother is because when I, whenever I enter the room, they will get quiet, they'll jump around. Situations where he's been massaging her shoulders. It's just different situations. They always try to make me feel that I'm insecure, I'm crazy, I'm delusional. Oh, that's not going on. We're just playing around. And I feel like you shouldn't be playing like that with my mother. Like, that's not appropriate. How does this make you feel? I'm looking at the, your face and it... You look pained. Tell it, me about this. It makes me feel very upset because I really love my boyfriend. I really love my mother. So I have to go with my heart. I really need to know. And if they are cheating with each other, I'm done with both of them. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Mr. Wingo, those are some very serious accusations that have been made against you that you are sleeping with your girlfriend's mother. What do you have to say about that? Yeah, honest. First of all, how crazy does that sound? Yeah. Um, you, hold up, hold up. One second. Come here. Turn around. Turn around for me. See, turn see, this, this is what I'm talking Why about. Why would I want her extra. mother? He's too extra. She's an old too woman. Extra. He is too She's extra. Old. I got all this tip that on this over here. That doesn't mean anything. Okay, so what you saying is... That don't mean mom. nothing. Why would you go with mom when you can have this? I got all of this. What I'm gonna and do you with cobwebs, at... Your Honest? What I'm gonna do with cobwebs? Oh. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold up. <laughs> exactly. You're right. Look. <laughs> but... You're right. No disrespect to Mom Dukes. But I, I don't want Mom Dukes. Look, I love this woman wholeheartedly. Now, these accusations have been crazy and it's getting on my nerves. Like, I would marry this woman if she could just see that I don't want her mother. <laughs> like, that's your mom's. Like, so why mom. do you feel that it's okay to do all this extra stuff, rubbing her shoulders, letting her twerk on you? <laughs> like... <Okay. laughs> That's out of line. Mr. Wingo, what, what are you doing? What is your relationship with her mother? Your Honor, Your Honor, her mother is cool as a fan, okay? For one... Cool as a fan. Cool okay. as a fan. Her mother is so cool. We have a great relationship. Me rubbing the shoulders, that... It was... It, was, it wasn't that this serious. That's me rubbing the mom's shoulders. But your hand and, and shouldn't me, be on her. Me twerk, your hand her should not be touching we her. We sitting in you the house You barely rub my shoulders. Talking about rubbing her. Oh, oh, you know, that's ludicrous. Well, Mr. That Wingo, so there are different ways of massage, you know. There's a massage... And then there's, and a, then massage. there's a massage. What is it that you're doing? Are you... No, no. Massaging, yeah. massaging, or no, just yeah. massaging? It's not a massage, massage. It's a massage. And that was one time. No, and then the it was a massage, situation, and it was like, And in the twerking ooh. situation... Yeah, you got to step hips. over here so we can see all that. He, he did his hips with it. It you was like, ooh, like that. Oh! And how did you happen to see this? I was right there. They thought it was okay to do that right in front of me, in my house. And you're just saying, okay, this is not how a boyfriend and my mother are supposed to be inter interacting. That's your problem. Right. That's and not. What else have you seen that makes you think this? Well, I'm an artist, so he's my DJ when I go on the road. Okay. And sometimes I bring my mom along to help along, like, with little things that I might need. So if I go downstairs to get towels or something and, you know, we all meet up in the same room in the beginning, so when I go downstairs and come back, I'm opening the door, they close together and jumping apart. Like, why are y'all jumpy? Why y'all stop y'all conversation? Why is she jumping from one side of the bed to, to another side of the bed? She came in like the police, Your Honor. She... What do you expect? You scared the hell out of us. When, what do you expect us to do all, to jump? First of all, to get in the room the of a hotel... You so, Mr. Wingo, let, let me ask this. All right. What are you all doing while she's gone? We're sitting watching the television, Your Honor. Just sitting watching television? We're just television. sitting watching television. Are y'all on the same Shekina bed? Wait, 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 wait. like the police. Wait, are y'all on the same bed or different beds? Same bed. Same bed. Same bed, and there was okay. no TV on. Yes, he it lying. Was, it you was blowing no... things out of proportion. So you all are sitting there, and then when Miss Wright comes in, what happens? She comes busting in the room like, what y'all doing? Like the police, like, 
I'm like, oh, you scared us. She startled us. Okay, that must be some kind of crazy to have your mother and your boyfriend in the hotel room jumping up. And you're thinking, okay, what were they doing? So we've got your side, the girlfriend side, the boyfriend side, and we've got the mother side, and she's here. Ron, would you escort Miss Wilson in? Yes, Sean. Would you state your name, please, for the record? Barbara Wilson. And Miss Wilson, what is your relationship to Miss Wright and Mr. Wingo? Well, um, Miss Wright, Shakina, is my daughter, and Mr. Wingo is my son-in-law. That's what I refer him to as, my son-in-law. Now, you've heard the allegations. What is it that you want your daughter to know about your relationship with Mr. Wingo? Well, I want you to know that I would never, ever sleep with him, cheat with him, whatever. I would never do anything out of the way to hurt you or anything. I may not know for sure if you actually slept with him, but the things that y'all have done so far, it has hurt my feelings. Tell me about this hotel encounter, because she believes something was getting ready to go down or was going down when she walked in. Tell me what happened. Okay. What happened, I was sitting on the bed, just like he was sitting on the bed. We were just talking. Like... Talking about like, what? Just talking close, in general. That close was, was together? It, was we the TV close. on or was the TV And the off? TV was on. Oh. All right. So you're there talking, TV's on. Then what happened? She busted in the room like she was 5'0". Like, <laughs> we weren't doing anything. And, well, of course, it startled us because she busted in the room. I'm just the popo, huh? I guess. H hold on, Miss Wright. What did she say? What did you say when she burst she, in the room? She came in the door like, well, what y'all doing? And we was like, we ain't doing nothing. What are you talking about what we're doing? But do you understand but why I it looks up suspicious? Because I was just getting ready to go to my room. How convenient, huh? Just when I opened the well, door. Well, I understand your viewpoint, but I mean, it, if you if you startled up, I could see how this happened. Is there anything else that makes you think that your mother is sleeping with your boyfriend? Yes, Your Honor. It was one other time when me and my boyfriend was in the bed. It was like three or four in the morning, and his phone rang, and it was her. First of all, first of all, I didn't even know that he that she had what? his number. Hold on, Miss Wright. So your girlfriend's mother's calling you at three in the morning to catch a mouse, Your Honor. <laughs> He jumped up with his wife beater and shorts on right away and was over there for a whole hour. I'm calling his phone, calling his phone. He not answering. I call her phone. She's what? not answering. This what? makes no sense Your to me. Honor. You're going what? over to her house to catch him. Are you going to catch it with your hands? Why were you gone for over an hour? To catch a mouse, Your Honor. Oh. She said it was squealing under the sink, on the trap. I got a trash bag, put it in there, and dumped it in the garbage. Me and mom talked. She was just scared uh, about the mouse, and then you know, we talked for a little bit, and I went back home. Okay, but your girlfriend is calling you. Why didn't you answer the phone? Because I was gonna be right back. I probably had my phone on vibrate or something. I can't remember. And the only thing, your testimony is the only thing he did at your house was get the mouse. That's it. He did not have sex with you. No. There was no physical encounter whatsoever. No, ma'am. All right. That, I, I, is, is there anything else that makes you think your mother's sleeping with your boyfriend? Yes, Your Honor. It was another occasion. They were both at my house, and a song came on the TV, and she jumps up and she starts twerking. And it wasn't, like your it, mama wasn't, twerking. it wasn't <laughs> a soft twerk. It was a left cheek, right cheek twerk. Oh, no. And he oh, jumps no. up behind her and starts dancing with her while she's throwing it back. So, Ms. Yes. Wilson, did this happen? It happened, yes. But, but she's not exaggerating. the way she's saying it. Okay. okay. Were you twerking? I'm 55 years old, Your Honor. Um, it ain't no left and right cheek moving nowhere. <laughs> Okay. Now, wait a minute. Well, well, I mean, I okay. Let me see. Oh, come, come on. on. Let me see. Cause we got. This is you what know? I was doing. Okay. okay wait. <laughs> now, Miss Wright, there was some jelly in your roll right oh. there. <laughs> that ain't a bad and thing. She had on a skirt. Oh, she had on a skirt when yeah. she was doing it. They both are too flirtatious. Well, what was he doing? Ms. What, Mr. Yeah, Wingo, Mr. Wingo, what were you doing? She's over-exaggerating with the story. 
I wasn't like, you know, up on it. What were you doing? Let me see. Let me see what you What were you doing? I was, you know, hey, you know, on the side. Not like, hey, you know, it wasn't. No, he was like, wait, 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 he, yeah. He oh, you're working on her. Yeah. No. No, no. Yeah, I want to see what you would do. He went. Boy. He came up on her, and he was like, "Mom was twerking." Hey, I, I wasn't doing all of that. Man. He was never getting it. Okay. Wait, wait a minute. No, wait a minute. I wasn't doing oh my no, God. You see your mother. You show me what you think you were doing. I'm gonna show you what I was doing, y'all. All right. You show me. She was this doing mom, this, and I was right here. Hey, hey, oh. hey. Uh, okay. Yeah. No, all of that is too much. But all of it. But Mr. Wingo. I love Shakina. I love my love the family. We just having fun. Like, you know, I just want Shakina to know that I, I got tunnel vision. Only thing I see is her. Like you say, other women. I don't see no other. What other woman? I want her. So if we get through this, I just want her to see that I'm serious about her. I want to marry her, but I can't marry her. If she think I want to sleep with her mother. That's but, crazy. But but let me just say this. I can't imagine how you feel as a daughter, because I'm a daughter, and you feel as a mother mm -hmm. that your daughter is sitting there. How do you feel with your daughter making these accusations? Kind of hurt because I don't want to hurt her in any kind of way. You know, we're, we've, we built the relationship to this point that, you know, we've gotten close. You know, and I, and I wouldn't cross those boundaries. And if I have, in your eyes, I apologize for that. Why you don't think you did, though? At the time, I didn't see it. But I see it now. I see how it has hurt you. Well, what we got is, one, she believes that the relationship between her boyfriend, Mr. Wingo, and her mother, Miss Wilson, is inappropriate because of the massages, because her mother been twerking, her boyfriend, and this whole mouse in the house issue. But with all that together, Miss Wright is just sure that her mother and her boyfriend are cheating together. And because of that, and she said, if it's true, you're done with both of them. You will lose your love and your mother in your life. Yes, Isn't... I'm done. And Mr. Wingo <laughs> says he wants to be with her, but he's got to get past these allegations before that can happen. That's right. And so everything is on the line. Well, to sort through all this, this court has done a full and complete investigation. At this time, the court will call certified polygraph examiner Kendall Scholl to determine, is he cheating? Ron, please escort Mr. Scholl in. Would you state your credentials, please, for the court? Uh, I spent almost 30 years with the FBI in Washington, D.C. When I retired, I was actually chief of the entire FBI's polygraph program. As a result, I've done thousands and thousands of polygraph exams. All right. And you conducted a polygraph examination of Mr. Wingo, is that correct? I did, Your Honor. You asked Mr. Wingo, during your relationship with Ms. Wright, have you had sexual intercourse with her mother, Miss Wilson? What was his response? He said no, Your Honor. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was being... What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was being... truthful, Your Honor. You have the big question asked. How are you feeling now? I feel relieved. Let me ask this question. You asked Mr. Wingo, during your relationship with Miss Wright, have you had sexual intercourse with anyone other than your girlfriend? What was his response? He said no, Your Honor. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was also being truthful. He's been faithful, which is... I can't tell you how relieved I am, Mr. Wingo. Mm. Woo! But... I'm not seeing relief on her face, though. I... I... I am relieved, Your Honor. I just... Is this the situation at hand, the things that they were doing, they shouldn't have been doing. But I am much 
I'm relieved. Exactly. I can't get no love or nothing. <laughs> I'm talking about me. I'm talking about me. Give me some sugar. Mm. Yeah. Can mom get some love? Give my duke some love. All right, Mom, you can stay down there with yeah. your baby. Okay. You can stay down there with her. Mr. Wingo, Your Honor, me... she is my baby. She's yeah. my firstborn, but she's, she's still my baby. I understand. They forever your baby. Yeah. But you definitely want to have boundaries yeah. going forward because the look on your daughter's face, the pain that she has been wrestling with, mm -hmm. you, I know you don't want that yeah, for her. I don't. Ms. Pounds, you all have been dating, but you say you have invested time, energy, your emotions, and maybe most importantly, your money in this relationship, and you believe he's cheating and you think your investment is not worth anything. Tell us why you opened this case. I think what this was was a bad investment. Okay. Mr. Gibson was living in another state, okay. and we met online, and we clicked. Just like best friends, like we knew each other forever. We talked every day for months, for hours. It was like feelings developed and he started to say he wanted to be with me. Okay. So I paid for him to come from another state to be with me because he didn't like where he was and he wanted a fresh start with me. When he said that, and I knew things about him through conversation. Right. He liked fish and he liked hunting. I said, I can save money at the grocery store. <laughs> I'll never go hungry if I get with him, so I gave him a chance. All right, yeah. Mr. Gibson, she's accusing you of cheating. What do you think about that? Hey, Yon, I'm here to uh, prove my innocence. Okay. I have not been cheating on this lady. Okay. I know for prior history or not, I had pictures or whatnot in my phone, but I need to get a award because I'm here to prove my innocence today. Right. Have you tried to convince her that you have not been cheating? Yes, plenty of times. Yes. I had to tell her, hey, because the pictures or whatnot don't mean I'm cheating. I, hey, those in the past. Hey, let's go forward. Miss Pounds, yes. since you opened this case, why do you think he's cheating? Really, your, your courtroom don't have enough time for me to tell you all the reasons. <laughs> That's the truth. Wow. But okay. Mr. Gibson will get up in the morning, his phone will ring. He'll look at the phone. But don't answer it. So one morning I got off work, I look at the phone, I see a woman name. Mm -hmm. That's my, my family member. I said, call her, let me talk to her, since she your family member. He picked up the phone and just started talking. He never called anybody. <laughs> he said this. He said, now, the name is on the phone. He called and acted like somebody else. He said, hey, where's, she, where's my family member? Well, tell her, call me back and put the phone down, never call nobody. <laughs> All right, Mr. Gibson. Did you do that? Did you really, did you really put a phone up to your head and start talking no, without even no, dialing or pushing a no, button or anything? No, no, sir. What happened? It's my, it's my family member. She just moved from Indiana. She had never met anyone on my father's side. No one and other than my father. I still haven't met her. But if I do let her meet her, she's still not gonna believe it. And that's okay, but the fake phone call, though, I mean... There wasn't no fake phone call. <laughs> she was so... She be, she, when she get in that frantic, tantric mode, she don't pay attention or would not listen. I'm, I'm imagining a scenario, and I know I keep, keep talking about this, but I'm just trying to imagine a scenario. Okay, I'll show you. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Yeah, is, she did it. is she there? Okay, no, nah, tell her I'll call her back. See, told you. <laughs> That, that is just... what he do. That's not true. Yeah. And you're saying that didn't happen? When I pass this test, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna let her meet her. Okay. Well, I hope you get to pass this test. Well, I, know I, I, I know I haven't cheated and thought, right. hey, well, hey, that's perfect me coming. Miss Pounds, have you observed anything else that make you think that Mr. Gibson is cheating? I ain't got enough time to tell you everything I observe, but I'm gonna tell you this. My phone start blowing up messages. Some woman said she was at my house with him. Oh. Said she'd been in my bed. Said she'd been in my, in my house. She knew my name, first and middle. She knew certain things I had in my house. She knew I, what type of vehicle I drove. 
She knew what shift I worked. She told me when I go to work, he come to her. Let me ask you this. What did she say about Mr. Gibson? He has a nickname. He goes by the nickname Black. Mm. To me, I never call him that. That's some low stuff, Black. He tells everybody when you meet him, I'm Black. He don't go by his first name. I don't... Anybody who know me, know him, they him. All my friends know him by his first name. Okay. They, they don't even know him. Nobody associated with me calls him Black. So it would have to be somebody who he, he knows and is told to call him that. Yes. Mr. Gibson, Mr. Gibson, how does this woman know all of these details about Miss Powell gotta, and about you? It got to be someone she know. But, it, got, it got to be because, first of all, I'm not on social media, period. How do you explain, then, the level of detail that this woman messaged Miss Pounds with? I had the slightest idea, but I'm here to... A lot of tests go, go prove everything. Let me ask him this. Do you know this woman? No, I do not. You, you don't know anything about this woman? No, I do not. You've never met her? No. Never dated her? No. Didn't sleep with her? No. Haven't slept with her since you've been with her? No, I haven't slept with no one since I've been with her. This is crazy. Hey, the test is gonna prove it all. <sighs> Ms. Pounds, do you... You say you got a lot of reasons why you think he's cheating. Can you give me another one? Mm. I think text messages... Actually, it was... One woman I called back, but it was women. These are text messages between this other woman and him? Yes. I had his phone. I was looking where they was talking, and I texted the woman. I said, this is his woman. I got his phone. Who are you? And she was like, wow. And I took the phone in there to him, but at that time, I took my phone, and I had saved her number. I, I took the phone to him. He jumped out of bed, ran to the bathroom. And the woman said she don't know nothing about me. Yeah, I got, I got evidence right here. You All brought right. something with you? The okay. woman don't know nothing about me. He told her he's single, he live by himself, got a nice job, nice truck. Ron, would you know nothing document? about me? Yes, ma'am. None of the women know nothing about me. He's single. Thank you. He's single. That's yeah. what he tells them. <laughs> he ain't got no woman. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, so this picture you sent, you sent it to her saying, look, this is my man. We're in a relationship. Yeah, because she didn't know nothing about me. Didn't know anything about you. And she responds, okay, y'all, got, no got it. No pressure. Right. So who is this woman, and why does she think she's, you're single? Well, at the time, yeah, I was still on, on the app browsing. On what app? A dating app? Yeah, a dating app, yes. I know you think you answered my question. And you're real good at avoiding the answer. I asked you, who is this woman and why does she think that you are single? Why does she think that? Unless you like, told her... because I didn't tell her I was single. It's probably because of we were chatting. So evidently, we were chatting, that means I must have been single to her. And that's a reasonable presumption for her to make right since you're on a dating app. Yeah. Right? But he's yeah. already said, I don't do social media. So why, how is he that on was, the dating that? Was, that was then. That's, that's not real. That's then. There ain't no reason to that, That's not reason <laughs> Well, you know, we're interested, too, because there's her side, there's his side, and there's the other woman's side, and she is here today. Ron, would you please... Right. 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 I want to see you. <laughs> How you doing? Hey, how you doing? Nice okay. to meet you. You too. Would you state your name, please, for the record? Latanya Smith. And Miss Smith, what is the nature of your relationship with Mr. Gibson? Um, I actually met him through POF, so we actually never established a relationship. Did he? ever expressed to you that he was in a relationship? Nope, he told me he was single. <laughs> he specifically told you he was single? Yep. So this wasn't a presumption that you made just because you were on a dating site? No, he told me he was single. Did you ever receive any photographs from him? Um, I did. Um, I received one where, um, he was standing by a truck or whatever and he was telling me that was his truck and that was just the truck. All right. Okay. All right, let's take a look. So, this is a picture of a truck. This is the picture that he sent you saying, you know, this is my truck. Yeah. Okay. Well, can we... Ron, would you take this to Miss Powell? Would you look at it and tell us whether that's your truck or somebody else's truck? 
That's my truck. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mr. Gibson, if you're in a relationship with Miss Pounds, why are you telling Miss Smith you single and that all that Miss Pounds is paying for belongs to you? Ask Miss Pounds why she... Oh, uh, no, oh, no, oh. no, 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 no! Why would she tell... All right, go ahead. You about to make me curse up in here. <laughs> now, I'm gonna ask you one more again, as my grandmother said. Why did you do what you did? Well, at that time, she was telling me to go sew up my robes. Mm. Out of her mouth. She, she a witness. She right there. You know what? Mm. I'm gonna let you talk to him, Mr. Cullen. Ms. Pounds, you shaking your head. Did, did you tell him that? This is what happened. He want to go out to the club. I, I, we get dressed to go out. He be looking at women when we together. Mm. I seen it in it, and I told him, you are not ready. All this stuff that you doing, you're not ready to be in a relationship. You need to go be by yourself and get all that wildness out of you. Mm. That's what I told him. That yeah, he took it. Question. Let me tell you. No, no. Let me tell you. He took it as if I told him to go do it while he with me. That's oh. what he took it as. <laughs> so, Miss Smith, let's just cut to the chase here. Okay. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. All right. Get on down to it. Did you have a sexual relationship with Mr. Gibson? No, we never had a sexual relationship. Never got that far. Uh, we only talked by phone for maybe about a week. Then the young lady actually called me of the day of that morning that he's actually supposed to... We supposed to meet up that evening. So you all made plans to meet up? Right. But when she called me, that nipped it in the bud for me. Well, I think we have... I know I have. Just go <laughs> on. <laughs> I, I'm, I just put a fork in me. I am done. <laughs> Thank you. All right. <laughs> the court has done a complete investigation. At this time, the court would like to call court expert Guy Wolf and licensed mm. certified polygraph examiner Dave Lawrence to determine is he cheating? <laughs> So, Mr. Wolf, you have more than a dozen years in investigation and more than 20 years in law enforcement. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am, it is. So, what did you do to investigate this case? So, before Mr. Gibson took his polygraph exam, I sent Mr. Gibson into a room with one of my colleagues. <laughs> my colleagues posed as a litigant who was be being accused of using his phone to cheat on his girlfriend. Mr. Gibson loosened up with my colleague and began to start spilling the beans. He stated that he uses dating apps all the time and that he also was glad that the court did not summon his phone because he would have destroyed it. Hmm. So, did Mr. Gibson admit being intimate with any of these women that he's met online? He did, Your Honor. Mr. Gibson stated that he has had sex with women he has met on dating sites, but that he's not had sex with all of them. And since I... They had Mr. Gibson? We talking about when mm -mm. we were together. I ain't got nothing to do with my past. So you're saying that the women that you met on the dating site that you slept with, that you confessed to, were before you were with Miss Powell? Yes, because I hadn't had no sexual intercourse with no woman since I've been with her. Well, we get ready to go to the lie detector. Yeah, exactly. They right there. We're about to find out. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Lawrence, you are a sort of our polygraph examiner, correct? Yes, sir. And you administered a polygraph examination on Mr. Gibson, correct? Yes, correct. You sir. asked him a series of questions. I did. Right. You asked Mr. Gibson, since being in a relationship with Ms. Pounds, have you had sexual intercourse with anyone other than Ms. Pounds? What was his response to that question? He said no. What did the polygraph determine? The lie detector determined he was being deceptive. <clears throat> Gibson? <laughs> I never had no sexual oh, intercourse with a woman. Liar, liar. You still denying it? Hey, I told you, I told the truth. It was no. And I know I haven't. All right. 
You asked Mr. Gibson, since being in a relationship with Ms. Pounds, have you had sexual intercourse with women whom you met on dating sites other than Ms. Pounds? What was his response? He said no. What did the polygraph determine? The lie detector determined he was being deceptive. <laughs> well, you got, really? you scored a perfect 100. <laughs> Let me just say this. Go ahead, love. I won't uh, let you speak first, cause no, Miss Pounds. I mean, you kind of knew. He ain't never been no good since he got to me, so it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. He can never speak to me or uh, never again. And you're done. Done. You're done. Finished. <laughs> Mr. Gibson, you've been set free. She's been set free, but you've been set free. Right. But it comes at a price because you lost out on a good woman. Right. There was a woman who cared about you. I don't know nothing like you. And then to play this game of, I don't know, you can stand there from here to tomorrow and beyond and say you didn't, but you right, did. No, I didn't. You did. You did. Right. Nah. Out. <laughs> I just, I can't. Adam, Cause I can't even have <laughs> Ms. Pruitt, you have asked this court to do a full, complete investigation of your boyfriend. Why are you here today and how are you feeling? Well, I'm five months pregnant and I just want to know the truth. Like, I just want to know if he's cheating, like, what's going on? And Mr. Major. Your Honor, that isn't correct. All right, well, let me ask you this. Why are you here? I'm, I'm here to get everything settled. Okay. To let her know that I'm here for her and that I'm not cheating. You believe him? No. And why don't you believe him? Somebody sent me a picture of him laid up on a female's butt. Okay, hold up. You get a text message? Yes, Your Honor. And it is a picture of your boyfriend laying on somebody's butt. Did yes, I understand yes, that correctly? Here's the picture right here. Oh. oh. Rob, would you get that, please? Yes, you just get this text out of the blue, and someone sends you this picture. Yes, um, um... Was there a message attached to it? It was just like... <laughs> wow. It was just like, you think he's faithful, but he really doing other stuff. And I tried to reply, and it was, like, blocked. I couldn't reply back. First of all, M Mr. Major, this is you. Yes, sir. Yes, okay, Your Honor. so we've established that. And this ain't her. No, it isn't. So we've established that. Why are you laid up on another lady's well, Honor, booty? I mean, Your Honor, that, that was an old picture. That was before me and me and her even start dating. That, okay, that picture is old. Why would somebody take the time to send this to your current girlfriend? I guess to break up a happy home or you know intervene. So you said you tried to follow up to see who sent it. Yeah, but they blocked me, so I couldn't look. The picture is old, Your Honor. <laughs> this is an old picture? Yes, sir. Did you try to contact the lady who's behind I'm looking at? Yeah, I, I called her up and I asked her and she told me she had nothing to do with it. Okay. Ms. Pruitt, you all have been together on and off for three years. You're expecting this man's baby. This should be the happiest time of your life. Yes. I mean, when we were expecting our first son, we were on cloud nine. Scared. Yeah. <laughs> but we were happy. We were excited. You shouldn't be sitting up here talking to me about this. I mean, it's, it hurt, because I want us to be with each other emotionally, physically, everything. So how did you all meet? No, a mutual friend introduced us, and we started talking and hanging out and stuff. And... OK, what were you attracted to? He make me laugh. He's funny. <laughs> All right, what was it about her that made you say, yeah? Your Honor, I was attracted to her looks. I was so happy. We were going on dates. You know, we were going to the movies, go-kart riding. She's the first woman I've, I've been in love with. OK. So what is it like in your home right now? Your Honor, it has been horrible. <laughs> OK? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm serious, Your Honor. If I get off at 10, and I'm, I'm not at the house at 10, 12, she, she, she's assuming I'm cheating. Why do you think she's accusing you? Okay, um, sir, because she's pregnant. Her hormones are up, so 
I'm guessing it, you know, I'm, 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 I'm calling it a pregnancy brain. You know, I looked it up online. Pregnancy it's, brain. It's a lot of changes. Okay. All right. Now, I, you know, I'm getting a little tight about this. <laughs> because I had three kids. And let me be clear, Mr. Cutler, if you popped out with some pregnancy brain and I'm carrying your babies, it would be real ugly. Okay, but you will admit that when you're pregnant, you have heightened sensitivity about things, smells, sounds, and emotions. True. Okay. But someone thinking that you're cheating, that ain't got nothing to do with pregnancy. All right, so how's it affecting you? What does it look like on a day-to-day -day basis since she's been pregnant? Your Honor, if I go to the store and I'm not back in time, oh, um, she's calling my phone. Who you with? Are you with that, you with that girl? Every time I don't pick up a phone, are you with that female? Why aren't you picking up your phone? Exactly. Why are you not your picking Honor, up your phone? I have a bad battery, so my, 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 my battery is always dead. How much a battery cost? <laughs> Go, go handle you know, your business. Get a battery. You know, when you got a bad battery, I mean... No. <laughs> I'm gonna do you and him like that. Here's the deal. Yes, ma'am. I'm, I'm gonna give you a tip. I'm listening. All right. <laughs> when your significant other's expecting, you know, if you've been working here at this level, you need to take it up here. Because she's working 24-7 making a baby for you. So get the battery fixed. Come back timely. If you say 20 minutes, make it 18. Do that. That's what makes you have pregnancy brain is because you ain't doing what you need to do to make her feel at peace. If he was doing everything that he was supposed to be doing, she would still have heightened emotions. Did you take care of business? Yes, I took care of you. I took care, I made sure that everything you needed, you had. And did I have pregnancy brain? Am I under oath? Yes. <laughs> is, this, is this for the record? It's for the record. You had some heightened sensitivities. <laughs> and I was able to address those heightened sensitivities to because... allow us to stay together for the 28 <laughs> years that we've been married. <laughs> All right. There's another woman here Ooh. who has something to add to this case. Mm. Ron, would you please escort the witness in? Yes, Sean. Ma'am, hi. Hi. Come on up to the witness stand. Would you state your name, please, for the court? It's Marisha Pruitt. What's your relationship to the plaintiff or the defendant? That's my daughter, the plaintiff. Oh, okay. What do you know about this case and the allegations she's making? Well, I know that she's a little all over the place since she's been pregnant. Her hormones are kind of going crazy. She constantly messing with Pat, texting him, all the time. What exactly is she doing? She gets mad. She'll call me like 10 minutes, say, well, he not here. I just text him. He's not answering. I call his phone. He not answering. I said, Lisa, get a man time to call you. Give a man time to text you. Do you believe Mr. Majors is cheating on your daughter? No, I don't think Pat... He better not be, let me say that. But no, I don't believe he is. Do you I... think she's driving him away with this kind of behavior? Yes. Mr. Major, do you love your girlfriend? Yes, Your Honor, I love her. Is she driving you away with this Yes, behavior? Your Honor. Ooh, he didn't let you finish that question. She's steady nagging me. How much can a man take, you know, waking up to the same thing every single day? I mean, I'll be wondering, like, where he at? What he doing? And why are you doing it? Why are you wondering Because he didn't make me feel that way. You didn't did something before to make me feel like that. He's cheated in the past? Yes. And so, do you feel that's why she is hawking you? It could, it could be. All right, so, with pregnancy be. brain and you cheating in the past... You can just it's drop quite, the pregnancy It's quite brain. possible that just cheating in the past it. might be there you go. more of a factor than the pregnancy brain, right? Yes, Your Honor. So, tell but, me, this is the only thing that you have. No, he been going out partying with my ex-best friend. Like, I asked him, have he talked to her? He be like, no. Then I get on Facebook. They all in the club with pictures together. All right, hey. you have so, pictures there? Would you get that? So I guess your ex-best friend is not a male. No. All right, so we're looking at a, a picture of you and they're at the club with some women. Yes, Your Honor. 
Those so you go through Facebook and you find this picture? I was stalking his page. And why were you stalking his page? Because if I come to him with no evidence, he gonna just, like, be like, I'm crazy. So I gotta come with, like, screenshots, pictures, text messages. Your Honor, Honor, you can have lady friends in a relationship. Allegedly. Yes. (laughs) So, with that being said, all all we're doing, we just went to a club and hung out. What about this second photo? Now, look. As you can see, Your Honor, uh, I, I, I am sitting like this. I, I have no clue what's going on behind my Why head. Why she bent over? I have no clue. So, you had no idea a lady had her, head, her behind on the back the of your head. Until, until I seen the picture. But you posted them. It looks like this lady's butt is sitting on the back of your head. <laughs> exactly. But you don't How you don't on. feel all that on your head? I can feel it not even in the picture. <laughs> Your Honor. Okay, I'm waiting. It was a night. We went out. Club had drinks. Took pictures. Uh-huh. I didn't feel... Well, I, I, don't, I don't think her butt was actually on my head. So when you but... looked at the pictures, you ain't think it was inappropriate to not post them? Uh-huh. Right. Correct? I deleted them. I posted them, then I deleted them. I mean, this, this first picture you could get away with. You just hanging out? It's girl, girls' night out. Uh, I get that. But this one right here, it's some common sense that this ain't gonna go well with my girlfriend. Did you think she'd be okay with this? No, no. ma'am. No, ma'am, y'all. And especially if this is the girlfriend she think ex-girlfriend, that she thinks you messing with her behind is sitting on your head? This ain't rocket science. This is just common sense. Is this the same woman that you're leaning on in this picture? No, Your Honor. No, don't tell So these are two girl. different women. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. How does your head end up on all these women's behind? That's what I want to know. Okay, wait a minute. Miss Pruitt, what do you think happened? I think they slept together because he had condoms in his pocket. He had two condoms in his pocket. What's wrong so, with that? Because it come with three in the box. Oh, so, so what was what missing? The condom? Dude, all right, you're killing me. Mr. Major, you got a lot of explaining to do. Yeah. Okay, the condom I had, I gave it, I gave it away to a friend. Okay. Girl. Okay. So you just the condom supplier. Basically. If your wife brought home some condoms, y'all don't use condoms. Oh wait, what you we don't think? think. We, we need to, to ask, ask the questions. questions. Yeah. You don't think? Uh-huh. I don't believe it. I, I mean, I don't believe it. I mean, okay. Ms. Pruitt, you all have been together on and off for three years. Now, if you were to find out he was cheating, what is going to happen with your relationship? We gonna break up. I feel like if you cheating, then what you with me for? So what you're saying is your little family, the family you're building, you all are gonna separate? Yes, Your Honor. All right, so do you understand that if it comes out you're cheating, she's leaving with your baby? Yes, yes, ma'am. I do, I do understand. How would that make you feel? I mean, as a man, it'd hurt me. You know what I'm saying? Because I grew up without my, my dad, so I'm trying to be there for my family. You know, I'm trying whatever I can do to make it right. All right. As part of this investigation, uh, the court has retained the services of licensed private investigator Eric Eccles. Ron, would you please escort Mr. Eccles into the courtroom? Yes, sir. Sure. <laughs> Step right over to the monitor. Mr. Eccles, how are you? Good afternoon, Your Honors. Yes, yeah, good to see you, Mr. Eccles. You too, sir. You investigated this case, is that correct? Yes, sir, I did. Okay. What was the investigative technique that you used in this case? In this particular case, we did what's called an undercover op. Okay. And we put in the room with Mr. Major a very sexy and attractive woman Ooh. to see if he would <laughs> cheat. Can Have you found that to be an effective cheat. technique? Yes, it's very effective. And let's look at the video, and you can see. All right. Because you see how, like, you being, like, she being insecure and stuff like that, like, that's how he is with me. You feel what I'm saying? I mean, because you find love. Thank so, you. So, so I mean, like, like, yeah. I'm trying to turn up. You don't understand. I'm what like, you want to do? I mean, we can go do something. I mean... You need to exchange numbers on know. Instagram page or something. Yeah. Or... You can take my number. <laughs> 
So as you can tell in this scene, they exchanged phone numbers and information to contact each other later. Okay, Mr. Majors, who was that? Your Honor, um, we exchanged numbers so we can turn up. Uh-huh. So we can go to the club. And I came back to my room and let Lisa know. You ain't say y'all exchanged numbers. Your Honor, I told her it was a female I met up in there and we was trying to turn up tonight. She told me she had well, a boyfriend. boyfriend. I told her I had a girlfriend. But, but why are you even trying to take another woman to the club? I usually don't hang around a lot of guys, so I tend to have lady friends. Okay. All right, Mr. Apples. Yes, sir. Did you uncover anything else in this investigation? Well, throughout the conversation, Mr. Major made another admission. Mm. Let's go ahead and listen to the video. She think I'm not her best friend. You know what I'm saying? Which, who, who my, who my team's not now? So you did. Yeah, nah. So, and it was just, I was, you know what I'm saying? And she ended up getting cool with her best friend. Mm -hmm. With Lisa's best friend, just okay. to, I guess, get back at Lisa, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know. About a best friend. Okay, okay. wait. You have had sex with another woman? Yes, ma'am. Since she's been pregnant? Yes, ma'am. Mm. Okay, Mr. Major, now's the time to come clean. You're in a court. You're sworn to tell the truth. How many times have you cheated since she's been pregnant? I cheated three times, Your Honor. <gasps> okay, why didn't you come clean? Because, Your Honor, I, I love her. I, I didn't want to hurt her feelings. I made a mistake. The question is, Ms. Pruitt, you're five months pregnant with this man's baby. What is your decision knowing the truth? I can't be with somebody that's having sex with other people, coming back, having sex with me, having sex with other people. So you're done? Yes. 